What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Matrix21 back with yet another video, and I finally have the third of the big three Funko Pops, the Mirio Tugata. So let's go. Today we'll be reviewing the Mirio Tagata and his hero suit, but before we get into it, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell as well so you never miss a video. Now let's get to the pop. Ah! So we have Mirio Tagata here in his hero suit, which is really cool. I just wish they call it Lemillion instead because we already have the regular Mirio Tagata in his regular, you know, class school suit, school uniform. And uh, so it was pretty cool to get that, but we needed this in his hero suit and we finally got it and it's cool. He doesn't have his mask on, which is a little bit of a bummer, but I'm still glad we actually got him uh, in his suit. The base on this thing is nice. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Has the same box art of all the rest of the My Hero Academia Pops. Nothing crazy or different about that. I guess if it works, we might as well keep on going with it. It's part of the newer wave of My Hero Academia with the Infinite Deku. And man, that <laughs> that box, I mean, uh, that Funko Shop exclusive Infinite Deku is crazy. Uh, I had not been able to get my hands on it because it keeps going in, in and out of stock. As soon as it hits on the restock, it, it's immediately gone. So I do have the normal version of them, which is cool, cool. But yeah, this thing is pretty badass itself too. So... Like I said, this is part of the big three, which includes Tamaki and Nedri Hado. So, pretty cool to actually get these three in hand finally, and it's pretty cool. Like I said, only thing I could I can complain about this one is I wish he had his uh, his mask on, but hey, it is what it is. But we gotta get this bad boy out of the box, see how cool it is, because it's pretty cool details in this guy, and then I'll be right back. <laughs> So here's Mirio out of his box and it looks pretty cool, pretty dope. I love the dynamic pose he's in coming out of this base. Uh, you can have pieces of him going through the base. It's a little tacky because you can see that it's not actually going through his foot. But other than that, it's pretty decent. I like the way they did that. If you've seen that fight with him in uh, overhaul, you'll get what's going on right here. But yeah, definitely pretty cool. Details are crazy with him. I like the way they did the suit. Got the one million on his chest. Uh, paint job is okay. No, no real flaws with this guy. I like it a lot. Uh, yeah, no real flaws with his hair either, which is pretty cool because they they do that a lot where they mess up the the hairline, have the paint going over the hairline, which is kind of crazy. But uh, now that I speak of it, look at her hair. But that's just kind of nitpicking. Other than that, this pop is pretty cool, pretty dope, and I like it. I like it a lot. They did a good job with this one. Now we just need one with his mask on, and it would be set. But let's get this guy on a rotator, give you one last spin, then I'll come back and end the video. So once again, this is a Myriad Tagata Funko Pop. Definitely really cool, dope pop. But the only problem I had with it was doesn't have his mask on and they put mirror to got on the box instead of putting Lemillion. but i mean those kind of nitpicking on both those things other than that it's really 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 nice done very cool with the the base and the stand and uh yeah it's really nice the overall stance of him is nice a lot better than the kind of boring stance we got in the original mirio pop but uh definitely really cool pop overall definitely fitting of the other two with the nedri and tamaki pop so yeah i like this i like this thing a lot I had to get this in my collection finally. It would have been nice to get that, uh, the Golden Dark version. And if I see it, I might end up still picking it up. But, uh, yeah. And I like the way they did his eyes again with the, with the little chunk cut out of it. No no real complete circle with the Pac-Man eyes, I would say. But uh, definitely really cool. And I like the way they did the paint on it. A little bit more metallic on the eyes than they did on the original. So that's pretty cool as well. But that's all I got for you guys today. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell as well so you never miss a video. This is your boy, Major 21. Peace. Talk to y'all later. Bye.